Hi there, welcome to Essays for Youth. Thank you for joining us. My name is Debbie Rockow. I'm Bob McAdam. And our title for the next essay is Priceless Medicine. Bob, I was telling you this is one of my favorites. Well, I like this one. I like that too. <laughs> okay, it starts off saying, seen in a church bulletin, don't let worry kill you, let the church help. <laughs> Did you laugh? An outward expression of pleasure and joy, laughter signals acceptance and positive interaction when it takes, takes place in a group. Families that laugh together a lot are happy families. Amazingly, laughter brought about by showing cartoons and comic movies to prisoners, prison inmates has results in less prison violence. That's interesting. While laughter's influence upon groups may be significant, what laughter can do for us, each of us, is in a very, very important event. Victor Borg, a virtuosist of the piano and of comedy, has said, laughter is the short distance between two people. It can form an immediate bond between people and act as a lubricant of forming friendships and relationships. Laughter is also good for our health. When we laugh, we involve our brain and many parts of our body, including facial, diaphragm, and respiratory muscles. It has been shown that laughter protects our hearts by keeping the smooth tissues of our heart and the vessels clear of debris, which cause heart attacks and strokes. Studies in Japan have shown that laughter lowers blood sugar levels, a fact especially important for people with type 2 diabetes. Surprisingly, when we laugh, we increase the production of killer cells, which destroy tumors and viruses, and laughter increases the flow of blood carrying oxygen to all parts of our body. Good blood flow helps to prevent disease and encourages healthy healing and recovery from injury. Considering the virtues of a good laugh, shouldn't we find ways to do it more often? It will be true then as the reader digest readers digest reminds us each month that laughter is the best medicine <laughs> that's my favorite so this is really good because my kids will send me videos and tiktoks of funny videos or funny stuff and i love to laugh i just i just love to laugh i, I remember watching uh america's funniest videos home videos with my kids and we would sit there and laugh. Um, so tell us what your favorite memory or a memory of your family together laughing. Can you remember one? Uh, yeah. Tell me about it. It was, it was when I told them I was good looking. <laughs> and they agreed. I'm... Uh, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, well it's good to laugh and I, we all feel that I'm sure. Yes. But we don't know, always know why. And there's some pretty good points there that it's it's not only a good social interaction kind of happening, but it's uh, physical, physical, physiological happening. It, uh, uh, you know, it, it changes temperament, as uh, the comment on the prisoners uh, points out. Uh, it changes you physiologically. And we don't realize all the... The, the benefits of a good laugh, and so um, I, uh, I I've tried to f uh, hang around funny people <laughs> <laughs> or make funny jokes. Uh, I can't. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I really didn't know all the um, medical benefits of it. Yeah. I love to laugh, like I said, and so watching videos is fun. But I didn't realize the medical benefits in the diaphragm, respiratory muscles, smoothing the tissues of our hearts and our vessel, like, that's great. Yeah. Or, or yeah. lowering our blood sugar levels. Yeah, and the killer cells. Yes. Uh, releasing killer cells. That, that one surprised me. That uh, you actually may prevent tumors and stuff like that uh, by having a good laugh. That's interesting. I know we talked about in our other essay about um, having a healthy, clear mind. And so I can see where laughter helps us renew that and regenerates good 
cells in our, our brain and everything. Yeah, and the, the blood flow, you know, if uh, increased blood flow, there's an increased oxygen to all the cells of the body. So that's a good enough reason to try to uh, so associate with people that can give you a good laugh. A good laugh, right. Well, and you brought up the social aspect of it, and it says that um, amazingly laughter brought out by showing cartoons and comedic movies to prisoner, prison inmates has resulted in less prison violence. That's so interesting to me. As educators, consider this. What if we had a class in school that every day students would get a good laugh or laugh and I wonder what the social aspect would be like if we had that. I don't know but I think that students would pay more attention to a teacher that has a sense of humor. Oh great point. <laughs> yeah. I bet they were waiting for you to teach them something good and be funny at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> so we always like to um, ask this question at the end. Bob? How does this apply to you today? Well, I, I would say that, uh, you know, as a young person, do your best to recognize the benefits of a good laugh and uh, find the way uh, to add that to your, your environment and your daily program. I would agree. I would absolutely agree. So we'd love to hear your comments and share a memory. Tell us the last time you had a good laugh or share a good joke. We'd like that too, right? So we could get a good laugh too. If you have any topics you wanna to discuss, any questions or anything for us, um, just respond below and we appreciate you joining us today. Thank you. Thank bye you. Bye-bye.